Today we're going to look at generating some pretty interesting custom structural sections with the BSO algorithm. We're going to look at how it works and how options and different inputs affect the shapes produced. We're also going to look through some ways that might make this a practical and a cost effective real world application. Hopefully this might give you some ideas when you're working with architects or your clients on future projects. You can see some of the way this works by looking at this stress plot on this simple beam we have here with red being compression and blue being tension and you would expect that the material in the white is going to be deleted and the stuff that's stressed, the red and the very blue stuff is kept and obviously it has to make sure that it actually acts as a beam so you can see that if I turn off the stress plot that's a first go at the uh, algorithm. So it's kept material where the red was and the blue was. So compression and tension material. Now if we allow the algorithm more iterations to refine its solution, I'm doing three iterations here and then four And then finally, I'll run an animation through multiple iterations. First thing to notice is the deflection in the center there rapidly improves only after a couple of iterations. And what it's doing now is it's refining, trying different numbers and orientations of um, penetrations through the section. And it's trying to lay them out in the best possible way so that in the end you basically see the scenario which makes a bit of sense and that is it's almost worked out that the best configuration is what looks like a classic truss. Now you might be thinking that's all pretty interesting but you're getting some pretty weird looking organic shapes there so what architect's going to want to build that or specify that on their building? I'm sure there is a lot of architects that do want to have that as a feature in their building, just as it is. But then how much is going to cost and how practical is it to actually build something like this? Now you could do this out of timber or concrete precast maybe, but Either of those is still going to be pretty costly to build it like this. So this is where I'd suggest instead of that organic outer perimeter, we use the straight edges and still have the penetrations through the section. And I've also turned the exact round shapes and started to add some edges which you could make up as formwork for precast or could cut into a block of timber and we can reduce the number of edges on the shapes to make it even simpler. We go down to four sides only. You can start to see that that might be a possibility for someone to manufacture and maybe might not be that expensive. And if you take it even further, make it even more easy to build, you might want to turn the shapes into circles. And if this was a piece of timber, you would just have to bore a hole in it in those locations. Or if it was precast concrete, you could just get a round piece of precast with lagging around it or something like that uh, as formwork 
and then just cast that as a block and that will be your beam and I don't think that will be very expensive so we can have a look at what happens if we move the load so it's not central and if I move this load back a little bit we can see what the algorithm thinks it can remove from that block and if I keep going back even further it comes up with something like that or right back to the edge something like that and now if I run that as an animation as you move the load what the algorithm thinks is a good place to delete material and as we go past the halfway point it should mirror in the other direction And here we're running through a cantilever fixed to the block on the left hand side. And as we extend the cantilever we keep the load on the very tip. And the algorithm is trying to work out what material it can delete with keeping the strength as much as possible. Interestingly at the end there it's actually deleting the top cord but it's got a little nib pointing to resist the load and here's a more practical version of that where we're just deleting the material inside an existing block so that's more practical to build and now we're trying a wall so a complete tall element this is more of an organic shape now right there you can see in the middle it's created a classic arch so as you'd expect an arch is the best shape to resist compression thanks for watching this structured parametrics video leave a like or subscribe if you found this useful and we'll see you in the next one